From above Rancho San Rafael Park in the beautiful Truckee Meadows as the leaves turn, welcome to Exploring Our Backyard, brought to you by Lithia Subaru of Reno. He's Brian Samudio. I'm Alex Margulies. Coming up on our show this time around, we'll take you thousands of feet above Lake Tahoe and the Carson Valley as we go on a scenic glider flight. And if an adrenaline rush is more your speed, well, Julian Delgadio decided a plane ride wasn't enough. He had to jump out of it. We'll show you his skydiving journey in Truckee. Plus, Reno's David Wise is a world-class athlete, but the Olympic gold medal winning skier is also a sniper on the range. We'll take you literally into his backyard for some archery. And we'll take you to the scenic shores of Lake Tahoe to go under the water as we go scuba diving in crystal clear waters. But first, when Reno 1868 head coach Ian Russell got to town, we quickly found out that he was an avid fly fisherman. So we had to hook him up with our guy, our favorite guy, the best in the area, Doug Willett. Here's our day on the Truckee River. Along the shores of the beautiful Truckee River in Mogul, Nevada, the site of our next Exploring Our Backyard. Uh, the reason why we chose a spot, uh, it's one of the better uh, sections of the river from Lake Tahoe to Pyramid Lake. There's some nice trophy fishing here. Uh, uh, it's convenient for what we're doing and it has just about all the elements we need. Right now we're in a deep uh, pool area. We have some pocket water above us so we can address different types of water while we're here. Very good. I can see why you caught a lot of fish because you're doing it really good. I'm trying there the left-handed one. You're going to go left hand on river left. Could be a blooper. Excellent cast. Excellent. You're better left-handed, sorry to tell you. You're awesome, look at that. Follow it all the way down now. Oh yeah. There's a fish. Little, little wild rainbow, but hey, he's right. a pair of lips. He's a little guy, but he'll get bigger. All right. Good. Now you did everything right there, uh, or you would not have caught this fish. This guy here in a couple years was going to be a beauty. Second cast, caught one, so learned a lot already. I never even thought about trying to, my different hand, my weak hand, and uh, just a different angle, got a fish. That was like Dane Kelly scoring in the second minute. It was. <laughs> I mean, anytime you can score early or get a fish early, good things happen, so pretty pumped right now. Think, Brian? You know, not 10 minutes from downtown. This is awesome. Just being out here is incredible. So you've been out here maybe, what, a year now? How much are you enjoying your new backyard? Well, I mean, it's, you know, every day I come out here and uh, it's just a great setting with all the mountains and the rivers and it's been, it's been really good. You were saying you love just kind of coming down and yeah. hiking back yeah. a little bit and just kind of being with nature and, and just enjoying, you know, maybe the seclusiveness of it a little bit. Yeah, I think it's, it's one of the things, I, I know a lot of people like to golf and I think that's kind of a lot of people's outlet. For me, it's just going out and, you know, hiking or fishing and it's probably the only thing that I can do that kind of takes my mind off of soccer for maybe an hour or two during the day. Other than that, it's, it's kind of just going nonstop. Nice job. Yeah. Thanks, Woo, Alex. Two. Doug, thanks. Easy. You lost it. Very well done. Nice. He's a natural. Well, we spent a few hours out here on the Truckee River. Brian and I got a couple strikes, but couldn't quite land a fish today. But you know what? That's why they call it fishing and not catching. Still a beautiful day out here with some great people. I want to thank Ian Russell from Reno 1868, as well as our professional guide here, Doug Ouellette of Calvada Fly Fishing. Absolute best. You know, being out here on the Truckee River, enjoying the sunshine, the fresh air, another great reminder of why I love my backyard. Well, a little disappointing for you and me, didn't catch any fish, but great day out on the water with both Ian and Doug. And it is a great place to fish all year round here in our area, plenty of great places to choose from. And Doug Willette is the guy to show you the way. He is just an outstanding instructor. Visit Calvada Fly Fishing for more information.
Coming up later on Exploring Our Backyard, Olympic gold medalist David Wise shows Alex and Ryan Kern how to shoot a bow like a pro. But next, we'll take you soaring in a glider plane high above Lake Tahoe and the Carson Valley. We'll be right back. From beautiful Minden, Nevada in the rugged, relaxed and reachable Carson Valley, the site of our next Exploring Our Backyard. Hey everybody, Alex Margulies here from the Minden Tahoe Airport. You know, a few weeks ago I was looking online and all of a sudden I saw a video of somebody gliding over Lake Tahoe and I said, you know what, that looks like something for me and I figured it'd be the perfect next segment in this series. So we parted up today with Soaring Nevada and they're going to take me for a ride in one of these. Let's check it out. My name is Lori Harden. I'm known as Glider Girl here around the ramp, and I'm the owner of Soaring NV, which is the best gliding location in the Carson Valley. I believe that soaring is as close as a human being can be to actually being a bird. This plane uh, is a Schweitzer 232. Uh, it was made in New York, and this, this one's number four of 80 that they made. Uh, it was built in 1964. One, two, wow. That's what it does, yeah. Let's just show you our pedals are basically for rudder. The left pedal kind of, the nose moves that way. Oh, the right wow. pedal so moves I can actually just control the plane? You can, yeah, full controls. I got controls in the back too, oh, so. Wow. So wow. obviously we don't have an engine on this thing and we're gonna get up to about 10,000 feet. How are we gonna get there? We're gonna be pulled up by a Piper Pony. That's the airplane in the back over there. It's an old crop duster with plenty of power, very light, and there's a, about a 200 foot rope, and we kind of like being towed up there behind that. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's lock and load. All right. Right, 
hang a little bit. Sure. Woo. I'm actually controlling it now. Oh my gosh. Wow. So you just use your pedals and then there's a joystick and you can control the plane. <laughs> That's awesome. Unbelievable. What an experience soaring 10,000 feet over Lake Tahoe in the Carson Valley. I can't imagine a better place to try this for the first time. Another reminder of why I love my backyard. The talent of those pilots is incredible. Well, if you want to give it a try for yourself, it really is great for all ages and different types of people. We highly recommend it. Head to SoaringNV.com or call 775-782-9595. Rides start as low as $169. Still to come on Exploring Our Backyard, Julian Delgado not only goes up in a plane, but he'll jump out of it. His skydiving journey is coming up. But next, we've all marveled at the beauty of Lake Tahoe from above, but it's just as amazing underneath. We'll go scuba diving in the Jewel of the Sierra when we come back. From the jewel of the Sierra and the crystal clear waters of Lake Tahoe, we return to Sand Harbor for another Exploring Our Backyard. Hey everybody, Alex Margulies and Julian Delgadio. Today we are gonna do one of my absolute favorite activities, period, and something I've never done in Lake Tahoe, and that's scuba diving. A couple months ago you brought this up, said you had never been. How excited are you for this today? I'm, I'm honestly at like a 15 right now. You know, when I first pitched this, I, it was kind of a dream, and now it's feeling more like a reality. You mentioned earlier that this is a lot like being on the moon. Neither of us have been on the moon before, but you know, being underwater, submerged, and, and everything that this lake offers. I'm just really excited to get this thing started. This is gonna be awesome. Let's go get suited up and meet our instructors and get in the water. Hi, my name is Scott Hagen, co-owner of Adventure Scuba Center. Welcome to Sand Harbor. Um, your adventure begins here. Every time you do, you do a dive, you do a, a briefing, and this is where we usually do our open water briefings is right up here, so you can see the dive site where you're gonna be diving. This is your equipment. You're going to have a mask, a regulator, your weights, BCD inflator, your tank, your air gauge, fins. Those are your basic gear. Now let's go diving. All right, hang on a sec. Fearing a trip to the doghouse, Alex invited his wife, Sonny, 
a scuba diving enthusiast. Working here in Lake Tahoe and seeing the beautiful lake every day in pristine nature and being able to go underwater is such a treat. I cannot wait. And those two were off and running. As for me, well, let's just say it took me a little while to acclimate. <coughs> First mistake. But after about 10 minutes, I got the hang of it and it was time to explore. The beauty of Tahoe isn't with marine life per se, it's with the clarity, it's with, um, like I was saying earlier, the sunbeams coming through, the beautiful boulders and the rock structures. That's what makes Tahoe beautiful to me. The earth is covered with almost 80% water and scuba diving gives you the chance to see what's underneath there. It is unbelievably exciting to see the different creatures that live under the water. What was this experience like for you? It was life changing. I mean, I needed to get my body used to being underwater, but after that, I just, I don't want to leave, you know? <laughs> I tell you what, Brian, still one of my favorite activities and doing it in Tahoe has only rekindled my fire to want to get certified. Now, if you want to check this out and do it on your own, why not? If you want to get fully certified as a scuba diver, Adventure Scuba offers a range of great options. Visit scubareno.com. Group and private classes are available all year round. Open water classes cost $420 per person, but you can try scuba diving for as little as 50 bucks. When exploring our backyard returns, Julian Delgadio will show you what it's like to jump out of an airplane in the high Sierra. We'll be right back. Off Interstate 80, tucked in the beautiful Sierra Nevada, the site of our next Exploring Our Backyard. Hey everyone, I'm in Truckee, California today with Skydive Truckee Tahoe. And can you guess it? I'm gonna jump out of a perfectly good aircraft, something that I've never really done before, but here goes nothing. It is important that you understand that if you choose to make a parachute jump, any such malfunction, failure to perform, or change in weather conditions may cause or contribute to your injury or death. Step in these leg lifts facing that way. After a brief video, 
a few straps, and signing my life away, it was time for some advice before takeoff. Learning to skydive was kind of like learning to drive a car. It's just something that you did in our family. So I don't think I got any advice, but have fun, you know? And that's the best advice that I can give you is just have fun. Don't worry about it. Just relax and enjoy the ride. All right, so uh, I'm feeling really good about it. Weather's nice. We're here. Okay. It's going to be a sky party. Are you sky ready? Sky party? Yeah, it's a technical term. I've never been to a sky party. Yeah, I know. That's, that's why not. We specialize in that here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. Woo. All right, my man. How's it going? Are you ready for takeoff? Uh, as ready as I'll ever be. And so we climbed 10,000 feet above Truckee. Sooner than I'd hoped, it was time. Surrender to the awesome. Here goes nothing. Right after you leave the plane, it becomes peaceful. Like, it's like you're floating there. It's not, there's not a falling sensation. It's, uh, it's more of a floating sensation. Why should people want to skydive? Because it's probably one of the most exciting things that you'll ever do. It's, it's so much fun, it's so empowering, it's, it's like nothing else. There's really nothing like skydiving. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I've never felt before. We saw Lake Tahoe, we saw Reno, we saw Trucking. And just another reminder of why I love my backyard. You said it, boss. Let's do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was so awesome. You know, I got to say, for a, a kid from LA who has never been exposed to anything in our backyard, he's just been a trooper. You can tell he had a lot of fun. Not bad. Unfortunately, they don't let humans my size jump out of an airplane, or I would be right there with them. But a great day for Julian out there. If you want to give skydiving a try around here, Visit SkydiveTruckyTahoe.com. A tandem jump just like you saw runs for $250. It is an extra $120 for the video and picture package. Hey, don't go anywhere. Our final segment of Exploring Our Backyard is coming up as Alex and Ryan Kern go head to head on the archery range with Reno Olympic skier gold medalist David Wise. Stick around. We'll be right back after the break.
Another gorgeous day in the 775 along the shores of the Truckee River, the site of another exploring our backyard. Hey everybody, Alex Margulies and Ryan Kern. You know, we've done some amazing things with this show over the last couple of years, but for the first time, we're actually gonna be in someone's backyard. Yeah, that's right. U.S. Olympic gold medalist and Reno native David Wise has invited us here today so that he can show us what his other passion is, archery. And we'll have a little competition between the two of us once he <laughs> kind of gives us a lowdown on the sport. Let's check it out. We're at or around 90 yards on the nose. Tell me how you got into it and why. Yeah, actually for me it came down to um, the post Olympics madness. Uh, all the attention, all the media attention, all the interviews. Uh, I just got kind of overwhelmed. I'm, I'm an outdoorsman at heart. I like being outside and I was talking to a friend of mine, Remy Warren, who is a professional bow hunter and he, and he said, um, oh man, if you're overwhelmed, you should try this archery thing because it's something that you can do. Uh, it's, it's almost a form of meditation, he says. It's, it's, almost, it's a way of calming your heart rate down. A lot of the things that I've learned as an athlete relate really well. And so he gave me a bow and I tried it out and, and it was everything he described and more. Now I've kind of proven to you guys that I know how to shoot these things. Let's see how you guys can do. As two archery rookies, Alex and I have to learn everything. So right palm up like this. Each of you guys get one, gets one of these. V goes there. Here is your weapon. You have your sight. And these little green, green, red, and yellow pins are the different yardages that you're gonna shoot. Uh. You guys are shooting this red pin. As far as learning the exact process of shooting the bow and arrow, that took a little more time, but eventually we had everything lined up and ready to go. You that got him butt. right in the booty. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. You got him right in the hamstring. First try, Margulies. <laughs> First try. 100% accuracy right there. Foam contact. <laughs> and then Alex took his first shot. Oh, oh no! <laughs> How's that sound? Ching. And then on his second try. Oh! <laughs> we don't need a third arrow we don't now. Even need a third. Oh, oh that's classic. <laughs> walk off. He's out of here. <laughs> Hey man, shooting arrows in the backyard of an Olympic gold medalist right here in Reno. Another reminder of why I love my backyard. Amen. Honestly, I was surprised at how quickly I was able to pick it up and to have video evidence beating Ryan Kern one-on-one, -on -one, it does not get any better than that. Video evidence or not, I was the one who was there with you. You did win newsroom bragging rights. Go to Mr. Margulies. It's been another great year on Exploring Our Backyard. Thanks very much for being with us and allowing us to show you some of the great things we can do right here in Northern Nevada. For Julian Delgado, Ryan Kern, Brian Samudio, I'm Alex Margulies. Thanks so much for watching Exploring Our Backyard.